come through. Well, it's definitely not that. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bit of fun before we get the inevitable. We got, a, we got a little bit close there at the end with the brand. I was like, oh, yeah. way, oh, way. <laughs> Calm down there. Uh, not going to be the case. It's Alistair. The shiv that he's going to be. <laughs> Don't do this to <laughs> <Bell Bus. laughs> I thought it was pretty good as we do have a nice little setup here. Hex Flash. Depth is so dead. I mean, he is just 100% dead. There was no way for him to get out of that one. Early leads to this virus is going to make the Kaisa's laning experience a lot worse. Kaisa really is one of the champions where. It, once you start falling behind, contesting becomes so much harder because of how short. Sure Trying to join the back one as they ping it. They know this is happening. Can they stop it though? Carrier might just be the sacrificial cow in this case. As down he goes, Showmaker will be there to set it up, but it's a trade yeah. kill. Carrier is. Uh, uh oh. There's a sneaky buy in the brush, but Carrier just going to put his big cow body in front as now Owner comes in and they just snipe down the buy. Canyon not able to get anything done. Here comes Showmaker on the TP, at least able to trade one back, but still a favorable trade over to T. See there, the power of that follow up. Carrier goes in for the engage, and Guma with his chains of corruption can get so much damage <laughs> down as Faker is just straight up denying Showmaker access to this wave. Might be flying a bit too close to the sun. No, he uh, he's definitely flying very close to the sun, way too close, and he will get burned. Does a nice little head scratch. Yeah, Death made exactly the same head scratch after he died <laughs> earlier. On. Everyone was confused by that. He made the same expression as well as. Oh, oh nice Carrier. little play from Carry is really trying to get on top of Showmaker. There's the trample, and there it is. The follow-up owner gonna take down the kill. And man, this game side lane, and uh, just do that. But he is sitting here, and now he's gonna get Magnet Stormed as Kellen is trying to set this up. This is the combo. The alley oop into the kill onto Faker. Down he goes. Now sitting at zero. You get Infernal Drake, uh, mid lane turret, damage on bot lane turret, <laughs> and I get a teleport. Maybe, uh, maybe a Viego. No, nope, no, no Viego. Oh, they got his ult, though. That's uh, good. And they're going to lose yeah. cannon for it. Yeah. Oh, he does have the flash, but owner is not holding back today. As he will be able to pick that one up. Faker, they're not finding many angles. They're giving up free objectives. And owner on a bit of a tear. He's got some help this time. Kana has flash. Will he elect to use it here? He goes into the Dominus, gets stunned 100 to 0, and down he goes. So no flash involved in the It's gotten a lot better. Yeah. A lot less, you know, just farming as here we go. In goes Carrier once again, looking for the pick on a Showmaker, but no follow-up. Big Magnet Storm from Kellen. They will take out the cow. Down goes Carrier as now Zeus left out to dry. They should be able to get this pick Whoa. as well. That is two picks to the side of DK. And now yeah, this is really tough. Uh, oh, they know. Oh, they're going to catch owner here. He is in a lot of trouble. No flash, no heartbreaker, no life bar. Down he goes. That's a third pick. Ooh, I still don't know if they can do that. Kind of uh, false sense landing. of security, and yeah, they really have to poke him down if they want to have any toys. Showmaker trying to zone, trying to not let the spark fly. As Guma and Faker both going to flash away, as Carrier trying to provide a front line here, but Faker just getting 100 to 0. Down he goes, teleport yes. coming in, and the chains are going to miss. Showmaker oh. in a rough spot. They may know he's Nico this time, tries to proto the away. Carrier just waiting, TP's coming in though. As on the edge, they're trying to burst down this Nico. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. But meanwhile, we do have some ghosts going down on the side of the LeBlanc, but it's still 5v4 in favor of T1. They're looking for that backline. Def is being zoned away. The Heartbreaker gets him down with the help of Zeus. And that is the 80 carry of DK gone. Come through. That is going to be Soul Point and basically the entire Baron buff being negated. That's a hundred gold <laughs> minus. Not anymore. Six. So Faker might be dead. Well, he's still a Blanc. Let's see what he's got in the kit as the W will miss. Faker doesn't look like he really has it. Okay, he's not going to get rooted, but he does not have a health bar. So one auto should do it. There's the Q. Showmaker does take down the LeBlanc. Meanwhile, the rest of the team is will be able to pick up double in or here is T1. Really big win for them. A plus is still holding on. Three and a half K gold lead. They want to force a fight. They want to try and fight. I love this. Yeah, there's no LeBlanc. So oh, they don't know. Uh -oh. Guma doesn't have sumps. They have no idea. This Varus is so dead. The root comes in. He does have stopwatch, which will negate a lot of that upfront engage. But he does go down. The Renekton takes him out. Nico is dead, though. 
Zayus on the Cassante gets a double knockup. They're turning this around with the help of Mr. Cassante. Another knockup on to death. And now Baker is in that back line, lands the chains on the death. And somehow, through the power of that top laner, they are able to make it happen. Canyon will get taken out. That's an ace for T1 on this map. He's picked up here for owner. We saw oh, him the last that game. Oh, gone. <laughs> that's, a, that's an AP Varus. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yep. they're going to try and contest. Canyon's trying to get in. Let's see the angle. He's going to taxi on the Faker who flashes over to the team, but now they got a turn. Faker's knocked back. The TP's coming in. Faker's really low now. His DK might be able to turn this one around. The clone is being sent forward, trying to tank up some space. That another knockup comes up on the Kana as the follow through from the Nico is huge. And Kana will be taken out, though, as owner. Here is once again gigantic on the Viego, and he is just corralling. They really want to hunt down Deft first and foremost, as even a TP's coming in here once again, as Deft just cannot catch a break in this one. He is being zoned out forever. Doesn't do any damage to Cassante, that's for sure. As down he will go, and Kellen, and the rest of the team. Another ace to the side of T1. Feature frontline. Uh, Showmaker trying to go for some heroics, but only hit Zeus and Carrier, who could not be really uh, <laughs> yeah. bothered responding to that at all. And now Nash gone. Nine and a half. Faker's doing a good job of poking. But yeah, you really need to get on top of owner and Guma at the same time. It's not going to be easy. And immediately Khan is just 100 to zero. He is so low. Down he goes as in goes Deft. A nice little combo, but immediately he gets blown to smithereens as the Kaisa is gone. And Showmaker just does not have the damage. And the Kaisa that gets the double kill, it's owner. He's looking for more. He's looking for Showmaker as well. Make it a triple as he will take him down as well. This game is over. As T1 will be able to push in with the Baron buff and the Infernal Soul if they need it. As he's just walking Canyon here down into the Nexus for the 2-0 victory. And owner going from having a rough couple of first weeks to double digit kills. Jeez. On the Viego, <laughs> he's not messing around, and T1. Um, talk about a bounce back, Veldas, after KT completely gapped them. Yeah, it's uh, they used it kind of like a trampoline, Ooh. I guess. They got bounced, uh, and then they bounced into the sky, I guess. And.